Hello, and welcome to a demonstration on how to use my Houdini auto rigging script. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the script and then place the script and all other files in the zip in a folder that you know where it is. Uh, I like to place it under documents in Houdini 18 and then make a new folder here. I've called the folder full rig and I've placed my script right here. Then what you're going to want to do is copy this file path. So we're going to copy that. And then you're going to want to open up the the Python rig rigging script in Notepad++ or any other word editing software that you have. I use Wing. And when you open it up, you'll see that there's some information about what it is, what it does. And then there's going to be this chunk of code that says, please copy and paste the text. So we're going to copy this. We're going to open up Houdini. And we're going to make a new shelf tool. We already made one up here. And under the script section of this tool, we're going to paste that code. Like this. And then going back to where we've placed our files, we're going to take this file path, copy that, and then replace this text right here with our path, like that. And we're going to hit accept. And now when we run this shelf tool that we've just made, it'll launch our UI for this tool. And we can continue using it. As you can see here, once the UI has been launched, there's several sections, two of which are already locked and we can't access yet. The first section is for importing and creating an HDA. So you can name your rig whatever you want. Like example, for example. And then you could choose your character model. If you don't have a character model, then one of the files that's downloaded with the script is this mailbaselow.fbx, which is the uh, example model that I've been using as a base to create this tool. Then you can choose a place to save your HDA if you want, and if you don't choose a place, then it'll just save to whatever folder this script is being launched from. And then if you know that you're importing a model from a Maya export, you'll want to make sure you check this check mark because of the difference in unit scale that Maya has compared to Houdini. Once you have all this set up the way you want, you're going to want to hit import model and create HDA. And it'll take a second because it's creating an HDA and doing some other things. And what this does is it creates a geometry node with a file reference and the, the file actually saves the geometry to the HDA itself. So if you were to share this HDA with anyone, this rig with anyone, they won't have to re-reference any character rig like you just did, where you pointed to the model. This is saved to the HDA itself, as we can see here under Type Properties in Extra Files. There's our actual character geometry. Once you once you've created the HDA, then there, the next section of the tool opens up, and this is the auto rigging section. The first step is creating locators, and what this step does is it places a bunch of null nodes down, as you can see here, just a bunch of null nodes that are used as position references when creating the bones as our next step. These can be placed anywhere, and they're all pretty self-explanatory. The left shoulder is named left shoulder locator. In the feet, there's a foot outer locator, toe locator, toe tip locator. And you just want to go through each of these and place them where they are on your character. Each finger has their own knuckle, base, mid, uh, end, and tip. And then for the face, there's going to be these curves that are with this locator as well. And you want to make sure that the locators are positioned in a way that the curves match up where you want for the face. Then once you have your locators all in a good position for your character, you're going to want to hit Create Bones. And what Create Bones does is it references all the points 
for those locators and it does its best to create bones oriented to how those points were. The way it orients the bones is it does it by plane normal. So these three points, such as the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist, create a plane that has a normal that kind of comes out in this direction and the bones try their best to orient themselves to that direction. However, in positions such as the fingers, where there may not be as clear of a plane definition, you might have some odd rotation on these bones. In order to fix that rotation, you're going to want to come into the node network, select the bone that you need to fix the rotation of, and then you're going to unparent it, and then fix its Z rotation. The X and Y should be just fine because it will be pointing in the correct direction and will have the correct length as well. It just may be a bit off kilter on its Z axis. So come in here and you'll re-rotate it to be the correct way that you want. And then you'll reparent it. The reason you need to unparent it is if we tried to fix its rotation right now, it would take the bones with it. We don't really want that. We want to do it on its own. Once you've reparented everything and fixed the orientation of everything, then you want to hit this last button, this capture mesh and make controls. Now what this will do is will it will create the rest of the rig. It will create controls for all the bones, it will constrain all those bones, it will mirror those control controls and the bones, and it will make a UI for the HDA itself where promoted parameters will be for those controls. Um, it will also make any kinematics for like the arms or the feet. Uh, and it will set up basically just the rest of the regular rig. As we can see here, it's completed everything. Now at this stage, it's captured the mesh, as we can see here. Boop, boop. And the controls all work. And if all you needed this tool was, all you need this tool for was to create a rig, then you can stop here. You can see that the UI is loaded. It's loaded the Python module into our scripts tab. And it's created a complete rig. If you'd like to use this tool for more than just creating an auto rig, such as the deform options as I demonstrated, then you're going to want to make sure you pay attention to this step very carefully. Primarily, you're just going to want to make sure that the skin weights are to your liking before using the deforms. This is especially important in the face where the default skinning from the script may not be the best result. However, once you have corrected the skinning for the whole body, then you can go ahead and apply the deformer setup. What this will do is it will add another tab to the HDA that includes all the deformation options as I demonstrated in my end product video. Thank you for watching how to use this tool, and if you'd like to learn some tips and tricks I learned during this project, please watch the next video.